you're often referred to as a role model for women in science. Um, do you think it's helpful to have your gender be a notable factor? Um, I don't know, honestly. I'm of two minds about that issue. I, you know, when I, certainly in my younger years, I really actively wanted to avoid being seen as a woman scientist right. or a girl scientist. I yeah. want to be seen as a scientist. Right. And, it's like the expression um, I went and saw, a woman doctor. She's just a doctor. <laughs> Why does she have to be a woman doctor? Exactly. Yeah, or a lady doctor. She's right. just a doctor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I, ha I had the same feeling about, about you know, women in science, that we should be seen as, first and foremost, as scientists as, you know, in our professions. That being said, I do feel as I've gotten older and you know, I've had more and more uh, female trainees that have worked with me in the laboratory over the years, I do see the value in women especially seeing um, other women who have gone before them and sort of paved a way. That's certainly been very important in my own career, and I now recognize that I'm playing that role for uh, younger students that are coming along. Mm -hmm. But when we talk about engineering and computer sciences, these are the fastest growing STEM fields. We either see the number of women in these fields plateauing mm. or dropping off. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, I think it's a complex uh, thing. You know, I think uh, a, a lot of women maybe don't feel encouraged when they're younger to pursue those fields. Um, I think that they also don't see a path forward as they get into their uh, childbearing years. How are they going to be able to balance family and, and, and their personal life with their professional life?